Hello viewers, as you know that preparing solutions is an integral and important part of studying chemistry. We make a variety of solutions in chemistry laboratory. In today's experiment, we are going to prepare a solution called standard solution. Such solutions are used in quantitative determinations. You have learnt that a standard solution is defined as the one whose concentration or strength is known accurately. You also know that there are two types of standard solutions, primary standard solution and secondary standard solution. A solution that is prepared by accurately weighing a known quantity of the solute followed by its dissolution in a solvent to get a definite volume of the solution is termed a primary standard solution. The concentration of the primary standard solution can be determined from the mass of the solute and the volume of the solution. For a solute to be primary standard, it must be stable and non-hygroscopic. On the other hand, the secondary standard solutions are the ones which may be prepared by direct weighing like primary standard solution but it may not be possible to determine their concentration using the mass of the solute and the volume of the solution. This is either due to the solute being impure or hygroscopic in nature. In today's experiment, we are going to prepare 250 centimeter cube of 0.1 molar primary standard solution of oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is a primary standard as it is a stable non-hygroscopic crystalline substance. It is available in the state of high purity and its solution does not decompose during storage. Here we are using hydrated form of oxalic acid. Its molar mass is 126 gram per mole. To prepare 250 centimeter cube of 0.1 molar solution of oxalic acid, we will use the following formula. Mass of the solute expressed in gram is equal to molarity of the solution multiplied with the volume of the solution taken in centimeter cube multiplied with molar mass of the solute and divided by 1000. Substituting the values in the formula, we get the required mass of oxalic acid that is 3.150 gram. Materials required are volumetric flask which is known as flask also, beaker, weighing bottle, funnel, wash bottle, dropper, spatula, oxalic acid and distilled water. Viewers, you have already learnt weighing of a substance using a chemical balance. So here we have already weighed 3.150 gram of oxalic acid in a weighing bottle. Now we are moving to the second step of the experiment that is preparation of standard solution of oxalic acid. For this we take clean and dry volumetric flask having the capacity to 50 centimeter cube. We put a funnel on it And now we transfer oxalic acid into the measuring flask through the funnel.
insert the stopper. We give the support of our palm to the standard flask and swirl it. So that oxalic acid oxalic acid. Since it is a primary standard, we can store it for a few days for volumetric analysis. So viewers, let us recall what we learnt today. We learnt how to use the formula to calculate the mass of oxalic acid needed to prepare a definite volume of given molarity. 
then we learnt how to prepare a solution of given molarity. While doing the experiment, we must take care of a few precautions. First, oxalic acid crystals must be weighed very accurately. Second, transference of weight oxalic acid crystals into the measuring flask must be done carefully and not a single crystal is to be allowed to fall outside. Last few ml of distilled water should be added using a dropper. Next point we must take care of is the lower meniscus of the solution must coincide with the mark on the stem of the measuring flask.